Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. In today's video, I will show you an easy way to send requests from Node.js or an Express.js. Here on my screen you can see bulk of data that we will get from such a request. So without further introduction, let's start with our video. As you can see, and as usual, we will start with just an empty project. So, if we wish to create a Node app or an Express app, we will need to create a new file, and I will name my file app.js, as it is a JavaScript. Now, as I will use Express through this tutorial, I need to install my Express. So, first of all, I will go here into View, and my terminal, and to just open up my terminal here. Let me clear this up. So, in my terminal now, first thing that I can do is to initialize npm into my project. So, to do that, I will use npm in it and I will pass a flag of epsilon here for yes. Well, just to pass all of those questions then uh, that npm usually asks us. Now that we have this, you can go into your package.json file and here it is. Again, I will go into my terminal, clear it up and now I can run npm install. Uh, express dash dash save to save the express as a dependency for my application here. Now once this is finished, here we can see dependency of express added into our project. Next to that we can have our, uh, we will have our package lock json file and node modules that are important for our npm. So now we can continue, I will go back into app.js and first thing here, I must import my express that I just installed. So I will first put the comment of imports and use const of express and set it equal to require my, well, express dependency that I added. I didn't write this down correctly, so require and that's good enough. Next to our Express import, we need to initialize our Express application. So after my imports, I will use initializing and I will put const of app to equals my Express and just call this Express. By calling this Express, app constant will be initialized app for our side. The first thing that we wish to do with Express is to run our local host. And to run our local host, we will also need a port on where we wish to run our local host. So here next to my app, I will use const of port and set this equal to 3000. And with this now we can create our server and listen to it. So here I will just use running an app. And now let's use our app that we just initialized here and on it we will have this method called listen. Listen method will listen to our server. First thing that the listen method will accept will be our port, well 3000. After that we can use a callback function here and in this callback function, well, we will get the response from our server. So once our server is running on this specific port, then we can do something, for example, for my side, I will console.log and here I will ro log running project on port and I will bind the port here, so 3000. Now that we have this listen, let's also create our first route here. So for my first route here, I will create routes comment and I can use app again and on it I can use get method now get method will well specify the route itself first parameter for the route should be well where this route should be so for me it will be just a slash so when we visit our local host 3000 after that we will have a callback function again and we can do something in this callback function this callback function will also uh, well accept request and response request stands for our request and response stands for the response that we should send back and to send some kind of response I will use response dot send method on it and here I will just send a string of hello world and that's good enough now that we have our route our listen for our port well our server we initialized our app and express we are ready to run our express project so again back in my terminal to run a project we can simply use node 
app.js. App.js stands for the name of our file. So our node will run our app.js file. So hit enter here and we can see our console log from our listen which will be running project on port 3000 and that is correct here. This also means when we visit our port of 3000 well localhost 3000 we will see our hello world which is coming from our route. Now as I mentioned this tutorial is to show you how can you easily send your requests and for that we will use a module called request. You can see that this package is currently well deprecated but still with the weekly downloads you can still see that it is quite used more than 21 millions of downloads per week. If you would go down a bit you will see how can you import your uh, request and also how can you write a simple well request to some specific URL. This request module will also handle promises streaming as well which will mean that it will work quite nice with uh, sockets. You can handle HTTP authentication, you can also have your custom HTTP headers, proxies and much much more. The whole documentation here, well the whole tutorial here is quite long but in this video we will stay only on the basic request that you can send from your express application to some specific API. So first thing that we should do for our project here is to install a request module. So I will close my current local host and clear this up and to install a request I will use npm install request dash dash save. Now that this is finished we can import our request in the same file well app.js so here const of request equals to require and it will require request module that we have and now we can use our request to use request I will go directly into my route that I have here so let me remove this response and send because we won't send yet anything to our local host but here we wish to use request so we can simply use request and on it we will have different methods. One of those methods is just the get HTTP method that HTTP normally supports. This method itself will accept some kind of options so for those options we can pass an object here. First option here we will have the URL itself so which URL this request should hit. For that we will go into JSON placeholder website. This website is just an open source API that we can use for our testing. And you can see that they have more than 1.8 billion requests each month. So yes it is quite safe for us to use something like this. So for example I will copy this URL here but make sure to not copy this slash one at the end. Now in my app.js to this URL I will pass a string of that well URL that we just copied over. Next to URL request will have some other options as you can see here there is quite a lot of options but there is option called JSON and we will set this option to true. If you don't specify this option in request itself request won't return JSON data to you but you will need to properly parse that data so you could get the JSON data. But by passing this JSON flag and setting it to true we will make sure that the data that we will get from our URL will be indeed our JSON data that we can use. After our options here we also can pass our callback function. So here callback and here it is. This callback function will well get an error and also response. Error will be here if the request itself couldn't fetch any data and response will be here if the request worked properly. So first of all let's handle our error here. So for that I will use if error which means that if error exists then here we can return and we can post some message to our browser like response.send to send some message like error occurred and that's good enough but if this does not happen then after that we can simply use response.send and I will send my whole response object here which should hold the bulk of data from this URL that we are getting and now we can test this so clear this up and here also you can see the obvious issue I used my callback function 
after my request method. Make sure to use a callback function inside of the request method. So just copy this here like this and you can remove this comma here. That should be okay. And after our options put one more comma and paste here inside our callback with error and response and our handling by the if statement and our response here. Now to run use node app.js and running project on port 3000 should work. Now by visiting our local host 3000 you will see this bulk of data that we are getting from the API that we contacted. Well this is just the JSON placeholder data for testing. So by that you can see that still if this request module is deprecated it is still highly used today and it quite supports not just normal requests but also all types regarding the requests and the protocol of HTTP and also sockets themselves. If you wish to know more about the request go to the request official npm page and here you will find all of the examples that you need and also uh, try and reuse some of those if you wish. But this will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.